In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple frag transportation container using just a Tupperware and some egg crate and some super glue. They're super handy and you're going to be using it for years to come. Hi, I'm Richard from the Beginners Reef and I'm here to help you succeed with your saltwater aquarium by providing you with really cool information, helpful resources and really handy tips to help you succeed. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and anything I mention in this video, you can find in the video notes below. Be sure to stick around to the end because I've got a great beginner tip for you that I think you'll really find useful. So let's jump into this. So in today's video, we're going to basically make a coral transport container and these are really handy for when you are going to things like frag swaps or you're going over to another reefer's house to purchase a coral frag or you're going to take coral frags um, to somebody. Um, a lot of the time you get the bags if you order corals online and the bags are really tiny and the only way you can get into them is basically by cutting them open. So if you don't have any way to transport your coral this is a really cool simple way that you can make to transport them and have no spillages. So all you need is four simple things to make this. One of them is a container of whichever size you like. Uh, if you want to ship multiple frags get a bigger container. If you want to ship smaller frags just get a small one. You're going to need some egg crate. Um, you can buy this from Lowe's or Home Depot for like 18 bucks a sheet and it comes in like a four by three foot sheet and you can make so many great things with it for use in your aquarium. So be sure to check out our other our two videos. We've got all kinds of stuff that you can make with this. You're going to need some super glue, some cyanoacrylate gel. Uh, the gel works best because it doesn't run everywhere and make a mess. Um, I just get these ones from the dollar store. I get a whole tub of four of them for like a buck. And then you're going to want some side cutters. The ones I like to use are the flush cut ones here because they don't leave any edges on the side of the egg crate when you cut it. So basically the process is we've just got to cut out two pieces to fit inside here. So once you have one piece cut out, what I like to do is I like to cut another one identically and glue them together. Then that way when you put the frag plugs in, they can sit fully into there. If you just have one sitting in, the frag plug doesn't sit um, flush and the flag, frag rolls around and comes out. So cut two pieces and glue them together. So once you've got your two pieces, Basically just grab your super glue, run around all the edges, put the two together. And there you have your frag transportation system. It's going to work really good. Each time you go to the fish store now, you can just take this with you, fill it up with some water, put your frags in there, put the top on, and your frags are going to stay safely sitting upright as you transport them home. I've used this for years, it's a really handy, little, cheap, great device and once you've made one, you'll use it all the time. The beginner's tip for this video is whenever you go to your fish store, always ask them to see if they have any insulated transportation boxes that they don't want anymore. Most of the time they're just taking up space and they just want to get rid of them. Um, so if you can get a couple of them of different sizes, they make it really good for transporting fish and coral, especially if you live a few hours away from your fish store like I do. My local fish store is a three hour drive away in the big city. So I've got a few different sizes of these insulated U-line boxes and depending on if I'm gonna go and get fish or if I'm gonna get fish and corals, I'll just take one of these to suit and it's perfect. You can put them in there and you can then just leave them in your car and it'll stay nice and warm for your journey back. Hope you found this video helpful. We've got loads of other videos that you can find here and here. Be sure to check them out. 
give us a subscribe if you like this and I'll see you on the next one.